Okay, so from the data, we were able to identify their strengths and areas of improvement on Barcelona. Uh, so their first strength was possession. From the notation analysis, you can see that they had a much higher percentage of possession compared to Atletico Madrid. Uh, their other strength was also their passing. Uh, they made a much higher amount of passes compared to Atletico Madrid. They made a total of 180 passes, uh, which were good compared to Atletico, only made 52 good passes. Uh, this showed that their possession, this, in, this linked in well with their possession because of the fact they were able to make all the passes. Um, areas for improvement could probably be their tackling, as they didn't really make a lot of tackles. Um, so maybe they could do a bit more like work on their defending as well because this linked in well with their defenders as there were a few times where they got beaten by the attackers. Uh, another area for improvement is also their dribbling. They'd only made a, to a total of 11 successful dribbles um, so maybe they could uh, focus on that as well, on their dribbling skill. Uh, another area they can improve on is looking at some of the players profile performance profile of the players. So if we look at Thiago, he was he got the lowest rate score for Barcelona with a total of only twenty two. Um, I think he could have if he'd improved his movement and his passing, he could become a better player and maybe mould into a shabby if you like and become one of the key players for Barcelona. Uh, regarding Barcelona as a team, they are currently a world class team. Um, so for Thiago, he should really improve these errors to, to become part of the team and become a world class player.